What's up everybody? John Royster here from Rooster Strong Powerlifting Gear and Apparel. And guess what? There's a deer in the road. That's not even what I was gonna say, but I thought the old four-legged creature here is about to lose his life. Today is speed squats. Then we're gonna do some heavy reverse bands on deadlift. Then we're gonna do some back. Then we're gonna do some uh, hammies and abs. I think that's what I got written down. I gotta check. Uh, today I'm gonna to be using my predator predator briefs on my squeak on my on my speed squats uh, on my speed squats. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm a geared powerlifter, and you need to be training and getting into your gear more often as a younger newer lifter and I still consider myself I want to consider myself new to powerlifting but my name's just now getting out there so I'm kind of new but I'm not I don't know it's tricky so that's what we got going on at the gym today we got our booth in Albany, New York coming up this weekend. So if you are in the area and you want to stop by, come say hi, please do. Uh, I know there's only like six of you people that watch these videos, but it's going to be fun. Uh, a guy I know is going to be there competing and I'm hoping he does good. Um, also, we got a couple of new shirts coming out, um, so be sure to check us out on our social media, which is rooster underscore strong, my personal one, which is john underscore royster, these are all for Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Abby's is the underscore Abby Lynn. Uh, Abby also has a blog up, so be sure to check out her blog. Um, blah, 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 blah. Also, I was watching a pretty cool video of Mark Bell uh, and Mark Bell's new gym that he's putting up. So, a lot of these big time gyms and these stories you have of these business owners who, who've owned a gym before, they're all like, yeah, first st we started working out in a garage and then we went, moved to like a little, you know, a little closet with a couple lights or something you know what I'm saying like it's pretty cool to hear some of these stories about these business owners or gym owners and you know where they all started out at and one of my biggest goals in life well I want to say a, it's a goal but it, I don't know how to explain it it's definitely a goal but it's not I want to say it's not one of my biggest I guess there's different categories for uh for goals you know like I have some family goals I got personal goals I got career goals so as far as personal goals this is probably one of the highest ones all up the top top five is I want to own a freaking gym well you know I don't know when the time will be right there may never be a, a right time to start a gym um, you know I'll probably always what if what if what if but right now, I am currently trying to set myself up to buy and own a gym. And hopefully the next five years. That's my goal. Will that happen? I don't know. If I want it to, it will. And if I work hard enough, it will. But I'm, I've been thinking here lately about, uh, you know, what's, what's our first gym going to look like? Who's the, what kind of members are we going to have? Where's it going to be at? You know, me and Abby ask each other these questions all the time, thinking, you know, where are we going to be at in five years from now? Well, hopefully uh, we can PCS here soon so I can get a new duty location. And uh, that would, if, if we can move to location A, we'll be set. Everything will be set. If I can move to location B, I feel like everything could still be set. Depending on, there's this one specific gym that I would be going, that I would want to go to if we move to location B. 
but I don't know how far of a how far of a drive it is. I mean, I'm willing to travel pretty good distance for you know. I was at one point, well, two or three times. I think I drove two or three times uh, to squat with Marcus Morris for about. And it was about a two-hour drive there and a two-hour drive back. Um, Avi was a champ and went with me. I knew she didn't really want to spend her whole day there, but she went with me. Uh, we even got to work out together a little bit. So, um, hey, my jaw hurts. I feel like somebody hit me with a freaking left hook. That's what I feel like. Pow! Right, in my kisser. My jaws just. I crack my jaw sometimes. Man, man, I cracked it yesterday. Oh. Oh, it hurt. It hurt so bad. Um, but yeah, we got the power meet coming up. Been thinking about the future gym. You know, I'm putting a little bit of money away, trying to save up for it. And I mean a little bit of money because life, you know. But what, what all this stuff that I'm showing you guys are, you know, I know there's not nobody really watching these videos now, but one day there will be. And all this stuff I'm going through is the real deal. I'm 25 years old. Me and Abby started Rooster Strong. It's a powerlifting gear and apparel company. Me and Abby also started uh, Diamond Strength Systems, which is an online group of, uh, per which is a group of online personal trainers or in-person personal trainers, uh, depending on, you know, how many people we have and stuff. And we're really just trying to, we're really just starting from scratch, moving our way along things are going good we're excited we're motivated we're not really losing any enthusiasm or anything um you know we're, we're bringing on brand reps we're about to start uh built we're about to start building up a team of online trainers now uh i just didn't want to bring anybody onto the onto uh team diamond strength systems now because our name's not really out there and the way we have it set up is it's it's going to cost the online trainers money to be a part of our program, but I don't want people. I don't want people paying it, buying it now because I don't have the things that I need just yet to give them the return. So, you know, everything y'all are seeing is a real deal. Uh, it's raw. This is this is straight raw footage. I mean, look at this shit. I got a fucking GoPro right now, going down the street. I probably probably pass about 20 uh, cows on the way here. I got a fucking windmill. I'm telling you guys, like, this is this is as real as it gets, y'all. As real as it gets. I don't live no fancy life. Uh, I live a happy life, but it's not that fancy. I mean, I got a nice new car, but it's covered in dog hair right now. But what I'm showing y'all is the real deal. Like, there's, there's so many fake people out there. <laughs> Brad Castleberry. <laughs> Uh, there's so many fake people out there and they just, they put on this front, you know, acting like there's some, you know, they're like, their life is amazing or something like on Instagram, social media. Um, and I, you know, to me, I always wonder like, what's their every day? What's the day like? What is their, what kind of day do they have? And my day is not fucking special. I'll tell you that. I get up in the morning around 5.30. Uh, I'm at work by 7. Or I'm at work by 8. I'm sorry. I work from 8.30 to 3.30 on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And then I go to the gym right after. Um, right after work on Monday. And then Wednesdays, like today, um, my training partner, a.k.a. girlfriend, a.k.a. Abby, a.k.a. at the underscore Abby Lynn, uh, she can't work out until later on in the day, like time now, which is 1846. So I go home for a little bit, feed the dog, clean the house, uh, do the dishes, do the laundry. My training partner, AKA girlfriend, AKA Abby, AKA at the underscore Abby Lynn, uh, she can't work out until later on in the day like time now which is 1846 so i go home for a little bit feed the dog clean the house uh do the dishes do the laundry you know my day is non-stop from the time i wake up from from to about 10 10 30 at night and 
there's a lot of white space. There's a lot of area in my day that I could be more productive at. But there, there are reasons why I'm holding off right now on some things. There's some reasons why I'm pushing uh, other subjects or, or other things to happen. So there is a plan in my madness. It'll all work out. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to stop hustling. So be sure to like the video, give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, please subscribe, hit that little alert bell, and it's starting to get dark, so I don't, I don't think y'all can see me very well anymore, so I want to hop off here, I'll see y'all at the gym for some squats, and hopefully y'all see some uh, big weight put up by me and Abby, so we'll see y'all in a bit, peace! from Rooster Strong Powerlifting Gear and Apparel and Diamond Strength Systems. Uh, so today was a little different of a workout for sure. I wouldn't say it's different, but we did the five sets of five uh, that Jason Coker has been doing for his speed squats at Westside Barbell. We done the five sets of five and man, I really felt like the pressure and the uh, the impact that it had on your CNS was a lot higher uh, on the five sets of five than just your typical 10 sets of two or 12 sets of two or whatever. Uh, I had 225 on plus a band on speed squats with my briefs to a box that's, I would say right at parallel, maybe a hair below. Um, I really felt the five sets of five tonight. I was very, I don't know, I've been getting really out of breath here lately, very winded, very gassed. Uh, not really sure why. I've even incorporated cardio into my workouts. I've been running. Uh, and doing the Stairmaster twice a week or once I've been running I've been doing two cardio days during the week uh, so I just been feeling really beat up really winded during my workouts uh, but tonight was a good workout it was a success uh, I pulled 585 reverse bands uh, tonight which is good um, I could have got more than one rep. Last time before when I was prepping for my comp, I think I only did four reps, I think. I probably could have got three or four tonight. So uh, my weight is sitting good. My body is is still sitting good. I'm not, uh, you know, I got a little extra fat on my body right now just from the diet, uh, just from my dieting after the competition. I, I kind of just started eating whatever. Um, but I started my diet back up. I'm, I'm trying to watch what I eat. Um, so I'm kind of getting back into a little healthier diet, a leaner diet. I'd like to stay up at 190 and like shed a little bit of fat, but not go below, one, below 190. Uh, and then in January, I want to start packing the weight back on. I wouldn't say packing it on, but I want to try to get up to about 195 to 200 in the morning. And then, if all goes well, cut down to 181 for the Arnold Classic next year. 
Uh, things are looking good. My weight's sitting sitting all right where it's at. My strength's pretty good still. Uh, I have noticed that I'm feeling really beat up lately after my workouts. I feel very, uh, uh, I feel very, feel really banged up. So we cut our workout short tonight. We just done four exercises. Uh, we hit it pretty hard, I think. I think it was a good workout. Sometimes you gotta understand that your workouts, uh, you know, you can work out and kick your ass in the fucking gym, but if you can't recover from anything, if you're not able to recover from that workout, then you're not really doing yourself a whole lot of good. Uh, so we kind of work back, I'll work out back to four exercises tonight. Um, taking tomorrow off. I'm probably going to do the Stairmaster a little bit. I'm probably going to do something tomorrow just to, just to keep moving, stay, stay active, try to burn a little extra calories. Uh, Abby did good tonight. Um, we're both feeling it right now though. We're both feeling it. We're both feeling a little banged up. So we got to listen to our bodies. We got to understand that uh, sometimes you gotta back off a little bit and do what's right and and listen to your body. And it's time for us to cut back a little bit, so we're gonna go home. I'm probably gonna ice my legs a couple a little bit. Uh, get a protein shake in with some uh, uh, some peanut butter with uh, some peanuts in it, uh, just for some fats. Uh, my, my protein has no carbs in it, so I'm good there. Uh, so yeah, thank you all for watching. It's dark, I need to turn this light out. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I wanna continue to keep it real with you all. I wanna continue to make these videos. One day I'll be at the top. One day uh, I'll look back on these videos and know that it was all worth it. Could be a year, could be 10, but this train keeps a rolling so stay motivated y'all thanks for watching stay safe out there stay motivated do something tomorrow that's gonna uh better yourself and you know do a little uh random act of kindness tomorrow for somebody it's always appreciated you never know what kind of day people's having so if you go out of your way tomorrow do something for somebody else um you know i try to do that at least once a day so thank you all subscribe hit the alert uh freaking comment and continue watching our videos thank you all very much peace